How to set up your OBS audio like a pro. Talking about pro, this video is sponsored by Onda Pro. On Onda Pro, you can get a lot of overlay tags and install them with just one click on your OBS. You can't make it easier. And besides having a lot of overlays, Onda Pro also gives you epidemic sound music. This is the music that I use on my streams. If you want to get 50% off, Use code TREE. Link is down below in the description. Let's jump into OBS. And then the first thing we're gonna do is click on settings in the bottom right. We see the settings tab and we go to audio because that was what we're gonna talk about, right? <laughs> Here, I have desktop audio and stuff like that all disabled. Why TREE? Why would you disable it? If we do disable them, we can manually put them in. This gives us more control over the audio. Here on advanced, we definitely want to pick our monitor device. This is where we're gonna hear our OBS things on. So for example, if you have alerts going off because you're getting a Twitch sub or because you have Blurp set up, for example, you want to hear them yourself as well. And this is the device that OBS is sending the audio to. For me, that's the Wavelink sound effects panel. If you do not use any mixer stuff like that, what you might see is like Realtek digital output, Realtek audio. That could happen if you have a Realtek audio card and if you put your headset right into your computer. Okay, so we've done that. And now what we can do is we can set our audio per scene. So if you have a BR back screen and if you have a talking screen, for example, if we go to scene collections, true stream, we can see here we have a starting soon screen but in here, there's only music. There's no microphone. I can talk, but you see the mic is not being picked up. This means that I do not have to mute my microphone. If we go to the gameplay scene now, uh, we don't see the camera because I'm using it to record this right now. <laughs> you can see that our mic is actually being picked up here with the wave link. Again, if we go to the away screen, we can see that the mic is going away and there's no sound in here. So how we do that? How do we add your microphone to one scene? Let me go back to an empty scene collection. And I'm just gonna make a new scene. And we're gonna add our microphone. We're gonna click on a plus and click on audio input capture. Here we're gonna, ca we're gonna call it mic. And then here we're gonna select the microphone you're using. I'm using this Rode Precaster, but I'm using it with the Ogato Wave XLR, which means that we can use either Wave XLR or we can use the Wave Stream. If you use the Elgato software, I would recommend clicking on Wavelength Stream, unless you do not want to record anything else than your mic. But for streaming, I would recommend this one. If you're using a different microphone, the microphone will pop in here, like it's like mic in here, Elgato Wave XLR, but you can also have the microphone of the CNN20 webcam, for example, in here. So find the microphone that you're using and click on it. I'm just gonna click on Wavelength Stream right now, and okay. So we now have a microphone. We can see that speaking a little bit, so we could like, Put it down or up here and we can go to properties here and go to filters to add some filters on it. If you use the Elgato software, I recommend doing it in the Elgato software. If you do use a mixer and it comes with software, do it in the mixer software or do it in the mixer. If you use a microphone where this is not the case, you can add a limiter here, you can add a noise gate here, a noise suppression or any other things you would like in here as well. Now we're only recording the mic and we do not record the desktop audio. We want to do that because if we have things playing like a game or something like that, we want people to be able to hear it, right? We're gonna click on a plus audio output capture and we call it desktop sound. And then here, what we're gonna select is the thing you are hearing things with. So this is gonna be the same as the monitor device most likely. <laughs> so where do I hear things with? I'm hearing it with the Wavelink headphones. I'm basically hearing it with my headphones. If you use the Wavelink software, what will happen is you have this and you basically hear yourself through here already. So because you already have your headphones here, we, we hear ourselves through here and we can move these things around. So you do not need this because the browser things will come in here and they will send it through the stream output if you select stream instead of mic. But if you do not use mixer audio, what you wanna do is you wanna select the thing you're hearing things through. Again, the Realtek audio headphones is probably the one if you put it into the jack of your computer. So it will either be called like speakers, this is a virtual audio cable, so it's 
is not the one unless you use something that uses virtual audio cables. If you use speakers, you got like speakers that you can use probably, or this is my TV screen, so this is my monitor. Then we'll basically record all the sounds that go to my monitor. But we want to record everything that goes to our headphones, so I'm just clicking on headphones right now. And now it's recording everything that goes to my headphones. If I would play anything on my PC, the stream would hear it. So besides the microphone and everything on your desktop, you might have alerts as well. Or you might have a game that you play via a capture card. If you add those, uh, what will happen? So for example, capture device. And I will be grabbing the AC60S. There we go. It's back right now because I'm not having the switch on there. <laughs> but normally I have the switch on here. And now we have this audio coming in here. However, this audio is just going through OBS and not to your headphones yet. So you want to go to advanced properties. And what we have here is really important audio monitoring. And for the AC60S, what we want to do is we want to either set it on monitor only or monitor and output. Monitor only means it's only going to send it to your headphones. If we put it on there, remember, we're actually capturing desktop sound. So it's going to my headphones, which is being recorded. So it's going to the stream. If you do not record desktop sound, make sure to put it on monitor and output. If you have alerts with a browser source, you can do the same thing as I did by the HD60S here. Put it on monitor only and record it with desktop sound or put it on monitor and output and don't record your desktop sound at all. And this way they also hear it. You will hear it and they will hear it on stream. You can do this with anything. Uh, you can also do that with like videos or media sources. You can have the video play for yourself for both you and the stream or just for the stream. Just for the stream is basically the standard option. Like I just touched upon, you can set filters by clicking on here and then filters. You can set all these filters here, but setting these up can be a bit challenging as well. So I want to send you to this video where I explain how to set up all these filters so you will have the best sounding mic around. See you there.